10,000 today. We are going to try to paint the boat. He wanted to spray it on instead of having to do it by brush because it'll be nice and smoother. But we have had nothing but high winds here for days. So, and he wants to get this going. So, we're going to try, I guess, to brush it on or he might, he might try to spray it first and see if it'll work. Um, but the winds have calmed down a little bit, but not a whole lot. So right now he's sanding down the, the sides where he um, fiberglassed. So we're going to be, he's doing that right now. So, and then we'll start painting. So we'll be right back. So as you've seen, I had Monkey doing a little spraying. Um, like I said, it ain't perfect. Now if we wanted this thing to go really fast or every time. If we wanted to go really fast or wanted to look real good, I would have took like that thing out of it there. I'm keeping character on this one. So, yeah, we would have took it clear down to bare aluminum. But it doesn't need it for all, you know, we're not showing this boat. We're using it to fish and pleasure and stuff like that. So it ain't perfect, but it's a 30 foot boat. You get back 30 feet and it looks good. And then tomorrow we'll put this onto the trailer and start scraping the blue off of the sides and we'll I'll probably shoot it with the blue tomorrow. I'll have to get some more clear coat and clear the blue. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got my rollers in. They came in today. So, these will go on here. Wherever they need to be. Be one on each side. And what that'll do is when I pull the boat up on, that'll just center itself perfectly wherever wherever i adjust them for the boat to be because like sometimes you know this is underwater and it gets the water's murky you can't see the fenders so you might be straight up against there but your ass in be over you know six inches and then you gotta slide your boat over hate that so these will take care of that right mom yeah right right bruno so anyway, there it is. Whoops, there it is. So, like that blue there, she wants it blue again. I'll use a brush on that. And I'll spray the sides as long as it's not too windy out. We'll get it masked off. And then I'll clear coat. I'm gonna tape over these. And then I'll pull the tape off once I paint it. And then I'll clear coat over top of them same way with on this side so um, it's not gonna be perfect but it'll be fine cool still got a lot more videos coming on this thing because I got I got a new set of bow lights for it and I got a new uh, stern light for the back which is removable but it's wired so that way I can wire it right to the bow lights the navigation lights that way when I turn, turn them on and off, the bow light or the stern light will come on and off. So there we go. It's getting there. We made it white and shiny. So, all right. Yeah, you can see some shine there. Okay, okay guys. So I had to go do a patient this afternoon. So Shaber finished up the boat. So we got the bottom of the boat pretty well done. And tomorrow we're going to put it back on the trailer and then we'll start doing the blue part. Right babe? Yep. So this is the end result of the bottom. So at least we got it done. Yeah. We're not making it perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's an old boat. And uh, we just want it to make sure it's got no leaks in it and just protect it a little bit more. 
That's what the main thing is. So we get to do the blue part. Yay! That'll be exciting. We're going to do this. this is going to be sapphire blue. He's going to tape up the numbers in that. So we don't have to try to take them off and buy new ones. And we'll do that when we get it on the trailer tomorrow. So I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. So so we'll try to get some more done tomorrow. Huh, babe? Yep. yep. And Bruno's investigating down here. Bruno, say hi. There you go. He's always investigating. And we also, what did we get today, babe? And what else we get? What's in that box over there? You have to tell them. Well, I don't know really how to explain that. The rollers. The rollers for the boat. So it'll make it easier to get the boat onto the trailer in the water. So. Well, it's no hard to get it on the trailer. It's hard to get it straight. On right. The yeah, because wind or whatever. So this will make it better. So here we go. And he's one on each side. Yep. Somewhere in here, wherever. Huh. Right. Yeah. But we have to put the boat back on to see where they have to be so he can mount them. So we'll do that tomorrow, hopefully. So it's getting there, huh, babe? Yeah, so when you roll up on there, just drive it straight up on, and these things will keep it straight back here. All right. And go straight on every time. Cool. That'll be nice. I'll extend these up. It'll be really nice. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to say I'm out, and stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be uploading some more tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Like I said, for now.